What's up guys, it's Matt Collins Jones here, also known as the D365Geek, and today we are talking about Power Automate, we are talking about expressions, and we're going to talk about the ends with string function. So what is ends with? If you watch one of my previous videos on what starts with is, you'll have a kind of idea for this, but ends with is a function that allows you to pass in a string and then search through that string for a specific, um, a, you know, another string, for instance, um, so a bit of text at the end, uh, and find out if the input that you are putting in ends with that specific text or that string that you're putting in. So you could pass in a string and look for the word end at the end of that string, and if it does end with that, then it will return a true. Uh, if it doesn't end with that, it'll return a false. So let's take a look at it. So I'm in Power Automate. I've got my flow here, and this is a manual trigger flow with a text input. Then underneath, we've got a compose action to just output what we're, what we're doing. And the input that I'm going to put into this, I'm going to click in here, I'm going to go to Expression, I'm going to expand See More, and then I'm going to go down to Ends With. So we can see the parameters that I need to put in for the ends with are text and then search text. So text is the text that we want to look into. The search text is what we want to find uh, and then we're going to see if, it end, if this text that we put in ends with this text here. Um, as with the last few videos, this is case insensitive as well, meaning that it could be an, an uppercase um, word or, or string, it could be a lowercase string, uh, it could be a mixture of the two, it doesn't matter, it will find that text anyway. So now that we've got ends with in the formula editor up here, we're going to click over to dynamic content, we're going to use the input uh, up here, we're going to put a comma in, uh, single quotation marks, and then we're going to put the word um, baseball, uh, all one word. So we'll click OK, and we'll have ends with that. So let's test this. So we'll click test flow. I'll perform the trigger action, save and test. And then the input is, my name is Matt. I like to play baseball. And we'll run the flow click done and it'll run through we'll find the compose action here and we'll have the output is true so this came through as true because the last string said baseball now let's um, let's try something else so let's test this once again and we'll just put in uh, hi there and we'll click run flow click done and it comes out as false. So that is false because it doesn't end with baseball. So this could have uh, great uses in terms of trying to find out if something ends with a certain thing. So maybe um, you might have a record type that is the last thing in a string. Uh, and if it doesn't hit that record type, you don't want to use any of the information in there. So you could have a, a you know split branches or conditional branches to try and figure out if you know to do something with this or if you're not, that's what this could be used for. But I'd also like to know other use cases. So if you have any other use cases, please let me know. You can either comment down below in the comments, you can send me a message on Twitter, you can um, send me a message on LinkedIn. Um, I'd like to know. Um, the details to those are at the end of the video. But uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, I hope it was useful to you. If you did, I'd appreciate a like. Uh, if you could subscribe to my YouTube channel, that would be great. And if you could share this video with others that think it might be useful to them, uh, I'd appreciate it. Ciao for now.